Good morning, and thank you for being here today. Um, breast cancer is an important topic for all of us. And in the next 15 minutes or so, I'm going to talk about some of the controversies in breast cancer screening using mammography. So breast cancer is the most common cancer in women worldwide. And as Dr. Joseph had mentioned, it's the second leading cause of cancer death in the United States. And many of us are all too familiar with the statistics that one in eight women will develop invasive breast cancer in their lifetime. So despite these statistics, we still know little about how to prevent breast cancer. While scientists are investigating ways to prevent breast cancer, um, much of cancer control today relies on screening. What is breast cancer screening? Breast, or, breast cancer screening is checking your breast for cancer before you have any signs or symptoms of the disease. So the goal of screening is to catch cancers when it's early enough so that the patient can be, um, get a complete treatment, or can be completely cured is what I meant to say. So before I continue, I just want to get an idea of the number of people in the audience who have uh, done a screening mammogram in the past year. So use your little clicker and um, All right, since the number's not going up. Oh, it's going up still. All right, so I'm going to find out. All right, so 80% of you have had a mammogram within the uh, past year. So that's a great number. Um, and we, if you do get screening mammogram, do you get it yearly? Uh, go ahead and use your clicker again. <laughs> Okay, 75% of you um, get it yearly. And so the follow-up question is, of those who don't get it yearly, do you get it every two years? Okay, some of you do get it, uh, oh no, um, a majority of you, uh, some of you do get it every two years, but um, more of you get it every, uh, every year. It's whether you get it one year or every two years, it's good to see that a lot of you do get screening mammography. Here I'm going to show you an example of the benefit of getting a screening mammography on a regular basis. Here is a mammogram from a woman in her 50s. This is her mammogram from one year ago. It is uh, normal. Then the next year she comes back to see us. This year her mammogram was read as abnormal. The reason it's abnormal is compared to the mammogram from one year ago, the radiologist sees a small little mass that was not seen on her last mammogram. So she was called back for additional mammographic uh, images, as well as for an ultrasound. So the mass was still seen on the additional images and was also seen on ultrasound. So this patient went on to have a biopsy, and this small little mass was a small little invasive cancer. Lucky for this patient, she had been getting screening yearly. So we caught the cancer early, before it had a chance to metastasize to her lymph nodes or other parts of the body. When uh, the, can uh, the size of a cancer and whether it's gone to the lymph nodes or other parts of the body are important factors in determining the patient's prognosis. In this case, though, this woman wasn't as lucky. She had not been getting screening mammogram on a regular basis. In fact, she hadn't had a mammogram until she came to see us when she had a lump in her right breast. So her mammogram not only showed this large mass in the upper part of her right breast that corresponded to what she was feeling, but we also saw a, um, some enlarged lymph nodes in her axilla. She got both biopsied and both were positive for cancer. This cancer could potentially have been caught earlier if the patient had been getting screening mammogram on a regular basis. Screen, women who get screened regularly with mammogram are less likely to be diagnosed with late stage or advanced breast cancer. Many clinical trials as well as observational studies have shown that mammography does work. It does save lives. And the number of women whose lives are saved because of mammography does vary by age. For every 10,000 women aged 40 to 49 years old who get screened, five lives are saved. 
And this number increases, the number of live sleep increases with, as the woman gets older. 10 of 10,000 women screened aged 50 to 59 years will be saved, and this dramatically increases for women aged 60 to 69 years old, 42 out of every 10,000 screen. It's also important to know that if you're of higher risk than the average woman, your benefit of screen, from screening mammography is even higher. When we talk about patients who are uh, of high risk, we're talking about patients who are BRCA1 and 2 gene mutation carriers, patients who've had uh, radiation in the chest between the ages 10 to 30, um, uh, women who have strong family history of breast cancer, as well as women who have a lifetime risk of greater than 20%, depending on the various uh, risk models that um, are used to assess for risk. Although mammography is the only um, imaging modality, screen imaging modality that has been clinically proven to reduce breast cancer-related deaths, it's not perfect, and there are some few controversies um, uh, with regards to screening with mammography. Some of these include radiation exposure, false positives, short-term anxiety, overdiagnosis, and lastly, when to screen, how often to screen, and when to stop screening. As many of you already know, mammography involves using a very small doses of radiation to see inside the breast. Repeated exposure to radiation can potentially cause cancer, but the risk and the harms of getting um, exposed to radiation that is used for screening mammography is extremely low. Um, just to put it into context, the amount of radiation you get from a screening mammogram is equivalent to the amount of radiation you get exposed to um, from the environment when you, when you fly on a plane across country. Studies also show that the benefit of screening mammography actually outweighs the risk that you get from the potential uh, cancer that can be caused with uh, radiation exposure. If a woman gets annual screening mammography starting at the age of 35 and every year up to the age of 75, the benefit of, with screening mammography is projected to exceed the radi radiation risk by a factor of more than 25. And this is even greater for women starting at age 50 to 75. The benefit exceeds the radiation risk by a factor of almost 100. So another controversy is the number of false positives that uh, can be associated with screening mammography. A false positive can occur with screening mammography when an abnormality is found um, on the mammogram but turns out not to be cancer with additional testing. Five, about 5 to 15 percent of screening mammograms require more testing, but of those women who get recalled back from her original screening mammogram, approximately 1 to 2 percent of them actually undergo biopsy. And of those who do, um, those who do undergo biopsy, about 30 to 4 percent show breast cancer. Anxiety is, is another um, harm that people cite that, uh, for screening mammography. The psychosocial factor um, uh, associated with screening mammography is not well understood, but in general, Anxiety with screening mammography can be normal and typically has no lasting effects. And if you look at the big picture, you know, the benefit of screening mammography in detecting cancer early and saving lives outweighs the risk of the anxiety that uh, patients get with uh, screening mammography. Some also believe that earlier cancer screening can lead to overdiagnosis, uh, which can resu uh, result in overtreatment. Overdiagnosis is the diagnosis of cancer that would never have caused any signs or symptoms, I mean, any symptoms or lead, lead to death in the lifetime of the patient and would not have been detected if the screening had not taken place. Although we've um, been doing a lot of research on breast cancer in the past and, uh, and currently, there's still, um, there's still, we still don't know which types of cancers we diagnose will be problematic, will actually cause death, and ones that won't. So at this point, because we don't have all that information, we treat all cancers. Hopefully in the future, if we have more information, we'll be able to, to um, information on determining which cancers will progress and which ones won't, then we may be able to tailor our treatment to the ones that will be a problem. But for now, all cancers will be treated.
What's also causing some confusion uh, with screen mammography is that different professional groups have published uh, guidelines that are conflicting. This is, this is a table here. This table here is the breast cancer screening guidelines for average risk women. For higher risk women, the guidelines may be different. So what you see here on this column to your left is the uh, organization and the starting age at which they recommend screening, and in this last column here, the interval in which they recommend for screening. So for the American College of Radiology, which includes the Society of Breast Imaging, as well as the American Co uh, College of Obstetrician and Gynecology, which is the ACOG, as well as the NCCN, which stands for National Comprehensive Cancer Network, as well as the NCBC, which stands for the National Consortium Breast Centers, they recommend screening starting at age 40 and to do it every year. The reason is that there's scientific data that's, um, that uh, demonstrates that the maximal benefit from screening uh, occurs when you start screening at age 40 and do it yearly. The other um, professional groups, using the data that's available to everyone, uh, the research data, came up with some different conclusions and it had their own recommendations. The American Cancer Society, which is the ACS here, as well as the Association, I'm sorry, the American Society of Breast Surgeons and the American Society of Surgical Oncology, they recommend starting at age 40. However, they do leave the option for women to start at age 40, depending on the women's preferences and their um, uh, and their values. They recommend screening interval um, if the patient's under 54 to get annual screening. If they're 55 years and older, they recommend biennial. But again, they do leave women the option to continue annual screening if they desire. The United States Preventative Services Task Force, which is uh, the USPSTF, uh, came out with a controversial guideline in 2009. They, along with the Academy of Family Physicians, American Academy of Family Physicians, as well as American College of Physicians, recommend screening started at age 50. The reason is that they use, they use the same data that's out there, um, but they concluded that there's not enough evidence uh, for the benefits of screening women uh, under the age of 50. But they do say that you know for this group of women, they should um, talk to their doctor and see if, you know, screening starting at age 40 is appropriate for them. And unlike the other professional groups, uh, these three groups recommend um, screening every two years starting uh, if they're going to get screened. This table here um, uh, uh, gives you information on when to stop for uh, average, with, uh, average risk women. So for the American Cancer Society, the ASBS, ACS, ASCO, they recommend continued screening as long as the health is good and life expectancy is at least 10 years. The ACOG recommends that if you're 75, you talk, should talk it over with your physician and decide whether you should continue screening or not. The American College of Radiology recommends that you continue screening as long as your health is good and your life expectancy is at least five to seven years and if you're willing to uh, undergo additional testing if your mammogram was abnormal. The NCCN um, recommends that you consider the individual's morbidity and comorbidity, as well as whether they're gonna, uh, willing to undergo treatment if they were uh, diagnosed with breast cancer. So now we've talked to about some of the controversy in breast cancer screening with mammography. I just wanna test your knowledge, and here's a couple questions. So use your clicker again, and this first question is, to save the most lives possible, at what age should women start getting yearly screening mammography? A, 35, B, 40, C, 45, D, 50. Okay, so a majority of you used to chose 70. That is what the American College of Radiology recommends, and that's what I recommend, that based on the fact that the data shows that that's where you're gonna have the most benefit is starting at age 40. All right, and then how often should you get screened? A, yearly, B, every other year, C, when I feel a lump, uh, D, when I remember. All right. 
Correct, yearly. Again, same reason as the first question. That's where you get most benefit is to screen yearly. So this brings me to my last slide. Um, so the take home point of this talk is that um, breast, ca uh, breast cancer screen with mammography saves lives, but it's not perfect. But for now, it's the best uh, uh, screening tool that we have to um, diagnose breast cancer early. Although there are some potential harms associated with breast cancer sc screening, overall the benefits outweighs the harms for all ages. Even though I recommend uh, my patients to start screening at age 40 and to do it every year, I also believe that each individual woman has, uh, should be allowed um, to make their own decision, uh, informed decision about whether when to screen and how often to screen. All right, well, thank you so much for your attention, and also I'll be here later on for questions.